Ginkgo Bioworks, navigating the crossroads of innovation and financial performance. In the realm of cutting-edge technology, Ginkgo Bioworks has emerged as a notable player, leveraging its dual assets, the foundry and code base, to spearhead advancements in research and development services while concurrently driving down costs for its diverse clientele. The foundry, functioning as an automated laboratory, has revolutionized the traditional R&D landscape by offering transformative solutions that convert fixed investment into variable costs, essentially providing R&D as a service. This innovative approach not only enhances accessibility to cutting-edge research capabilities, but also fosters greater flexibility in budget allocation for clients. Meanwhile, the code base serves as a comprehensive repository of experimental data, enabling Ginkgo Bioworks to optimize program success rates and streamline operational efficiencies, further solidifying its position as a leader in the biotechnology sector. Despite its notable achievements, Ginkgo Bioworks finds itself at a pivotal juncture where the intersection of technological innovation and financial performance demands careful scrutiny. As Ginkgo continues to refine its service-based business model, it has embarked on a journey to standardize various aspects of its offerings, including milestones, cost structures, intellectual property terms, and project timelines. These strategic initiatives are designed to enhance transparency, accessibility, and operational efficiency across its diverse portfolio of services, ultimately driving sustainable growth and fostering long-term partnerships with clients and stakeholders. I'm Anna-Marie Wagner. I lead corporate development for Ginkgo. Ginkgo was really started with the idea that DNA is code. Now we are reaching this point where we can actually program with that code. And if you think about the types of programs that are possible with DNA, now we're talking about mRNA vaccines and we're talking about producing chemicals and food with biology and not with traditional chemistry and physics in ways that destroy our planet. In the wake of these developments, the discussion seeks to delve deeper into Ginkgo Bioworks performance over the past year, dissecting the efficacy of its strategic initiatives and their impact on both its innovation-driven pursuits and financial trajectory. What is a foundry for biology? A foundry is a physical place that is purpose-built for making biology easier to engineer. That's it. That's the video. Are we good? Are we? Okay, maybe I can maybe I can expand on that a little bit. First, let's talk about why we need a foundry. Biology is an amazing technology for making stuff. Everything that you see out there in the living world, it built itself from carbon and other elements collected from the environment. And everything that biology does, it does by following instructions written in DNA. That makes biology a programmable manufacturing platform that runs on a universal language, DNA. If you can read, write, and edit DNA, you can, theoretically, make anything that biology can make with all the advantages that biology has. It's precise down to the molecular level. It can self-replicate and therefore scale. It's sustainable, biodegradable, and beautiful. Biology is beautiful. The foundry is a place where that DNA programming can happen. As the company navigates through the complexities of the biotech landscape, the convergence of technological innovation and financial sustainability remains a focal point. Embarking on projects related to drug discovery represents a formidable challenge, particularly when compared to the relatively more straightforward landscape of manufacturing R and D contracts. The intricacy arises because pharmaceutical companies often consider drug discovery a crucial and proprietary function, typically preferring to keep it in-house rather than outsourcing. In a significant stride, Ginkgo Bioworks has recently inked a deal with Pfizer that squarely falls within the realm of drug discovery, specifically focusing on mRNA therapeutics. This sector of drug development, 
spotlighted for its role in COVID-19 vaccines, signifies a contemporary and technologically advanced approach to medical advancement. Disclosed during the Q3 2023 earnings call, the CEO of Ginkgo revealed that the Pfizer deal holds a valuation in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Culture of the industry, uh, fostering collaboration over competition, especially among tool developers. Uh, and I'm going to spend a bunch of time uh, today talking about that. Uh, I'm really excited about our progress. Uh, and as we'll dig into the strategic sections, uh, you'll see how we're building and integrating a set of capabilities uh, we, could, we believe could really revolutionize how biotech R&D is done. Uh, before we get to that, I want to say, uh, if you want to imagine a little bit of what a world would look like uh, when biology gets easier to engineer, it looks a little something like this. Uh, so uh, engineered biology becoming an everyday part of our lives, uh, not just something we experience uh, when we're sick in a hospital uh, or things like that. Uh, and this photo is a real photo uh, of the Firefly branded petunias uh, that one of our customers, Light Bio, just launched uh, to the public. Uh, and we're working with them to make these plants an order of magnitude brighter today to see them. Uh, you have to be in a, in a really in a dark room. Uh, but uh, now you may not think that uh, bioluminescent flowers are going to sort of change the world like a blockbuster drug. Uh, but notably, what sets this agreement apart is that it followed Ginkgo's standard sales procedure, showcasing the efficiency of the process. An intriguing facet of this transaction is the limited involvement of top executives, including the CEO in the negotiation phase. The CEO attributes this to the scalability and effectiveness of Ginkgo's enterprise sales team, illustrating their capability to autonomously navigate intricate negotiations. This development serves as a testament to the operational maturity of Ginkgo Bioworks, signaling a new era in its ability to secure and manage complex collaborations. Nestled in the heart of Boston, Ginkgo Bioworks Foundry isn't your typical laboratory. It's a powerhouse of automation. The primary mission of the foundry is to ramp up data generation at a fraction of the usual cost, essentially serving as a genetic design testing factory. This strategic focus on efficiency and scalability underscores Ginkgo's commitment to advancing genetic experimentation and data production. What sets the foundry apart is its role as the birthplace of Ginkgo's code base. This repository of data is a versatile treasure, not confined to individual projects, but instead reused across diverse customer programs. The amassed data becomes the lifeblood for training large AI models. These models, in a fascinating symbiosis, steer future experimental directions, contributing to the iterative refinement of the models themselves. This creates a dynamic feedback loop where AI capabilities and data generation continuously elevate each other, leading to evolving precision and operational efficiency in the models. Enter the collaboration with Google Cloud, a strategic move to amplify Ginkgo's developmental prowess. Google Cloud's contribution of scalable compute resources is especially critical for training substantial foundational AI models, presumably at competitive pricing. Beyond that, Google has committed financial support to Ginkgo's model development ventures upon reaching specified milestones. In the Q3 2023 earnings report, CEO Jason Kelly unveiled that Ginkgo has already hit its initial cash milestone under this collaboration, with eyes set on the next milestone in the near future. This unfolding progress warrants meticulous examination, considering its potential impacts on Ginkgo's operational efficiency, AI model development, and overall financial trajectory. To truly grasp the operational prowess of Ginkgo Bioworks, it's crucial to delve into the nitty-gritty of the company's cost structure. This involves a detailed examination of various operational aspects, such as the cost per unit operation, the number of unit operations per cycle, and the number of cycles per project. At the heart of Ginkgo's operational efficiency lie AI and ML models. These digital brain children showcase exceptional predictive abilities, particularly in the identification of promising enzyme sequences. 
they streamline the labyrinth of possibilities to pinpoint the most likely successful variants. What makes this noteworthy is not just the discovery itself, but the speed at which it happened. This swift success was facilitated by a well-optimized workflow and a relatively compact library size. The precision of Ginkgo's AIML models in predicting effective enzyme sequences played a pivotal role in achieving this rapid breakthrough. Moving on to the financial realm, Ginkgo Bioworks witnessed a noteworthy surge in operational expenditures for Q3 2023. This surge was predominantly steered by heightened research and development expenses and acquisitions from the final quarter of the preceding year. Specifically, R&D expenses, excluding stock-based compensation, catapulted from $74 million in Q3 2022 to $123 million in Q3 2023. Adding to the financial narrative, a significant $96 million non-cash impairment charge was recorded, linked to a Zymogen lease facility that Zymogen exited in Q3. Ginkgo is currently in the process of finalizing its accounting for Zymogen's bankruptcy and anticipates the deconsolidation of Zymogen's financial statements starting October 3, 2023. This adjustment will be reflected in the financial statements for Q4. Zooming in on Ginkgo's preferred metric, adjusted EBITDA, it posted a negative $84 million, marking a decline from the negative $72 million recorded in the corresponding period last year. This downturn is chiefly attributed to increased expenses in the cell engineering segment and a dip in biosecurity revenue. Looking ahead, Ginkgo foresees its total revenue for 2023, falling in the range of $250 million to $260 million, aligning with its earlier projections. The company is also tweaking its target for 80 to 85 new cell programs for 2023 based on the outcomes of the third quarter and the current trajectory of new opportunities. While Ginkgo Bioworks showcases technological prowess and a sound business structure, there's a cloud of uncertainty shrouding its path to profitability, despite a seemingly robust balance sheet. A closer inspection unveils a series of nuanced concerns. Initially, the narrative hinted at Ginkgo's focus on curbing its cash burn. However, bolstered by a sturdy liquidity position, the company took a bold step into the realm of mergers and acquisitions, notably with the acquisition of Zymogen in an all-stock deal. It seems Ginkgo might have fallen prey to the allure of leveraging its stock value, perhaps assuming its strong financial standing would act as a safety net. Interpreting these events unveils two contrasting perspectives. One viewpoint suggests that Ginkgo is excessively aggressive in its spending at a juncture where prudent cash conservation should take precedence. Alternatively, it could be seen as a strategic maneuver to deploy its cash reserves in a market grappling with challenges, strategically acquiring distressed entities like Zimmergen. While this has led to a temporary surge in cash outflow and impairments, the possibility exists for this to normalize down the road. However, the absence of financial restraint raises red flags. Adding to the concern is the auditor's unfavorable opinion on the company's internal control over financial reporting in the 2022 10K, pointing to significant deficiencies or material weaknesses. Lastly, the shrinking revenue, partly attributed to the anticipated reduction in COVID-19 biosecurity revenue, stands as a formidable challenge. This downturn is poised to trigger a market reassessment of the company in terms of sales multiple, further muddying the waters of its financial outlook. As Ginkgo treads this intricate terrain, a vigilant eye on these nuanced challenges becomes imperative for stakeholders and keen observers alike. When we glance at the price-to-sales ratio within a comparable cohort, it becomes evident that Ginkgo falls within a similar range. However, 
a notable distinction arises. While the other companies in this group are poised for revenue growth, Ginkgo seems to be an outlier in this regard. In sum, my current investment portfolio proudly features a long position in Ginkgo Bioworks, a testament to the recognition of its underlying potential. Yet the landscape isn't devoid of hurdles, and several avoidable risks have cropped up, demanding a meticulous and cautious scrutiny. The impending release of the 10K report assumes a pivotal role, offering a lens to gauge the trajectory of issues flagged by the auditor.